What's up people? This is a video about using the override keyword in hacks. Um, as usual, um, the override keyword isn't unique to hacks. It's also used in, I think, Java and C Sharp. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, you can use it in other programming languages as well. Um, if you haven't watched the previous video about using the static, public and private keyword for methods, please watch that first because this video continues on straight after this one. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to make a few new files. So I've already done this, but I'm going to make a file called primary, primary button and secondary button, which will inherit from the main button class. So let's do that. Let's make um, these two folders usable. Put some code in them and I'm going to make a class called primary uh, button and that will extend the button class. Um, now, when it extends the button class, everything inside here will now be inside here. Well, maybe not the, um, yeah, I think everything inside, including the constructor, will be part of this new class. So I'll leave that as it is for now. Do the same to this class. And now what I'm going to do to prove that it's actually been extended correctly is import them both into here. Okay, and then make them into, initialize them here as well, because they both now have an um, constructor, a constructor. So I'll do that, pry, pry button, uh, copy that into here, and then do the same for this one, for the secondary button. So if all goes well, you should see two traces in the console with, um, this text button has been clicked because they're both using the same onClick method which they have inherited from the button class. Okay, that's all done. Let's run this. Perfect. As you can see, button has been clicked, has been triggered twice because it's coming from here. So now let's say for the primary button, I wanted to use the exact same method, but make it say something different like primary button has been clicked. So let's do that. Um, we'll make a new function. On click. They're going to say primary button has been clicked. Now, I immediately get an issue saying this method has already been um, used in the parent. So if I want to use it in the child, I have to use the override keyword. So let's Right override with two R's, I think. Does it have, yeah, two R's. Okay, and now it removes the error. So if I run main build, you can see I've got primary button for the top and then just normal button for the bottom. I haven't changed anything here using the exact same method um, and it still works using the override keyword. So I hope that makes a lot of sense. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments and as usual, like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.